Rather than simply writing out a description of how to create an outline for an idea painted presentation, I'm going to use a screencast to show you what it looks like to create this outline as it builds. Now I'm doing the screencast in Google Docs, but what's found here can be applied pretty much to any word processing program you might be using. So here you see a uh, very basic outline. You see these are all full sentences, just as I say in the, the text of the book. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put in the paragraphs in between here. A very basic idea, but you'll get the hang of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first hit return, and you're going to see that creates a second point here. Well, I don't want my paragraph that's in between point one and the subpoint behind it uh, to be its own point. That would kind of make things confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a delete or backspace key. You see that takes out the outline, but it keeps that this is a subpoint. I'm also going to increase the basic indent. You could just hit tab, uh, but that doesn't really push the entire paragraph over. So I'm going to increase the indent. You can see that right here. Um, this icon look is pretty much universal. Anytime you see a little triangle there to, next to text and it's pointing towards the right, that's going to increase the indent. Same thing for a decrease. Triangle is going to be pointing to the left. I'm going to increase the indent once. And instead of making you sit here and watch as I type the paragraph, I type these uh, beforehand. I'm going to paste them in right now. And so there's the first paragraph that's in the outline. You can see this sentence really is, when I put out the paragraph, is connected to the subpoint. So instead of just simply breaking it out and putting a period there, I'm going to put a dot, dot, dot that shows me I'm going to continue that into the subpoint right here. And then I'm going to go and insert my text in between subpoint A and point 2. And it's going to create another subpoint. I don't want that. So I'm going to hit backspace. And you see that the paragraph is already indented. Uh, you might actually have to redo the indent. Uh, in your word processing suite, but it's pretty easy. There's my second paragraph in between subpoint A and point two. And again, a dot 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 shows the continuation. I do that pretty much anytime I'm going to go to my next point. It just shows uh, that there's definitely a thread uh, going through the entire uh, content that I create. And then my last point, again, I'm going to delete that. Now see the indent is back at the beginning. So I'll bring that back over. And I will paste my last content. And there we have it, a very simple outline that is ideal for idea painting.